Perhaps the most dramatic change under a liberal government would be the sudden legalization of a substance which gets you a criminal record for merely possessing now. Marijuana could be coming to stores near you within a year or two if Justin Trudeau becomes prime minister. To find out what this would look like for consumers and tax collectors alike, we're joined from Longmont by Democratic Colorado State Representative Jonathan Singer. Mr. Singer, uh, overall, has legalization gone smoothly there, or have there been some unexpected bumps on the road to uh, legal pot? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, and, and things have gone about as smoothly as can be expected, considering we were the first state in the world, really, to, to legalize something. And we're still dealing with a federal government um, that still makes this substance illegal. So I, I would give Colorado overall a B plus. All right. Well, the front runner in our election, or one of the two front runners in our election, says that if he legalizes it, it takes cannabis out of the hands of gangs and makes it more difficult for kids to access. Is, is that, in fact, what happened there? You know, uh, I think, to be fair, we still have a lot more data to gather. But uh, the number one reason that I actually supported legalizing marijuana and treating it similar to alcohol was because uh, it was time to take this out of the hands of the criminals and cartels. And when you do this in a regulated environment, you actually uh, get better results. Uh, you, so I can't say that we've killed the black market here in Colorado, but I can say that we've put a serious dent in, in the cartel activity in marijuana. And mm -hmm. the Centers for Disease Control here in Colorado have shown that teen use um, has stayed about the same as what it was prior to legalization. Oh, I was going to ask that question, but what if, what's the police's, police officer's view on the ground? Are, are they seeing crime decreases, or are they happy with this so they can spend more time chasing the hardened criminals? How do they see it? Well, you know, it, it depends on who you ask. Uh, there's certainly, uh, there's certainly a, a lot of different uh, political angles. Our, our sheriffs are elected by the people here in Colorado, and we have 64 uh, different sheriffs with 64 different opinions. But overall... Um, crime has stayed the same or gone down in many situations. You're looking, when you're looking at serious violent crime, it's actually gone down. Drunk driving has gone down. Uh, not significantly, but the sky hasn't fallen is the, is the basic answer I like to tell people. And if you talk to beat cops, which I do, I go on ride-alongs here in my community in Longmont, um, they said they never wanted to be the, the bad guy out there stopping the person with the dime bag. They were much more worried about the cartel activity, and, and they're happy that we've been able to take a bite out of that. Interesting. Okay, the party up here isn't banking uh, on any tax revenue amount. They haven't factored it into their uh, spending program, but you tax it there. Has it, has it become a gusher of revenue or less than expected? Uh, How does it compare to, say, alcohol taxation? That's an excellent question, actually. So um, our... Uh, tax on marijuana is considerably higher than it is on alcohol. Uh, our tax revenues in Colorado on marijuana have just actually, as of last month, exceeded our um, tax revenues from alcohol for the first time in history. Oh, wow. Um, so hmm. it's, it's an interesting point in time. We've gotten, we got about $80 million in tax revenue from this, and about $40 million of that is going to go to school construction. Hmm, that's interesting. Is there a lot of um, pot tourism, for want of a better uh, term? Is a lot of people coming there just for this uh, legalized pot? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think a, lo a lot of the people here that are actually purchasing and consuming are not from the state of Colorado. Uh, as a matter of <laughs> fact, if Canada decides to legalize, you're going to take a bite out of our economy. And so I, I guess the, the greedy side of me could say, oh, yeah, absolutely keep it in the <laughs> criminal market. Uh, but, you know, instead of bed and breakfast, now people are doing bud and breakfasts. Uh, so it's, it's a brave new world out there. <laughs> uh, this is a bit flippant, but have Dorito sales gone up dramatically in the state? Well, you know, the governor said, you know, not to break out the Cheetos <laughs> and, uh, and, and Doritos too soon. But uh, actually, we just got some data back. Colorado is, is actually one of the healthiest states in the country. And so I'm not going to use marijuana as the excuse. But... Um, you know, we, we defy expectations at every corner. All right, Mr. Singer, it's a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks again.